police officers will have no excuses to put forward regarding failed missions resulting from physical unfitness. This was disclosed by Police's Director of Special Duties, Andrew Sarawen, at Central Police Station in Kampala as police officers embarked on body fitness exercise. Why are we doing physical fitness uh, and wellness? One, of course, to remain healthy, and you know our work is very challenging. We are on duty 24-7, and when you are on duty 24-7, you need to be very fit. He appealed to police officers to embrace this exercise, calling it a boost to the forces' endeavors in providing effective service delivery. So that one is not a, that's something we are going to ask, to request. It is an order. Once the council has passed something, once the IGP has given an instruction, it must be followed. Article 211 of the 1995 Constitution provides for a nationalistic, patriotic, professional, disciplined, competent, and above all, productive police force with personnel of good character. This can help achieve the tasks of protecting life and property, preserving law and order, preventing and detecting crime, and cooperating with the civilian authority and other security organs to ensure peace and security of people and their property. Kampala Metropolitan Police Commander Haruna Isavilia says promoting physical fitness among police officers is one way of attaining these tasks. We, we get involved a lot in day-to-day -day duties and forget about the wellness of our bodies. So we need to do physical exercises. It's now a policy within the police force that the officers should be fit. And this is one way of keeping the officers fit. In 2010, the Inspector General of Police, General Kari Kaihura, with the endorsement of the Police Council, launched the body fitness drive across the country aimed at enabling police officers reduce challenges faced in the course of their duties. Henry Okrut, UBC News.